Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I, I'll capture my thoughts with the words confidence in the small. Confidence in the small. You know, I've been, I've been reading the story of David and sometimes I get mesmerized by the, 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 the principles in, invested in the victory over Goliath. You remember now, David uh, comes and then um, he's been giving something to wear. He says, I've not tried it. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't wear this. And he says, now, all that I know how to use is a stone and a sling. And then David then uh, gets to the water side and then picks the stone and a, and a sling. If you look at Saul's armor, and if you look at what David was using, they, I mean, they were, they, it was a mismatch. This was prepared for war. This was designed for war. This was designed to kill a pigeon or a partridge or something like that. You know, but the Bible says, David says something. This is what I know. This is what I know how to use. But this one, I don't know how to use it. His confidence in the small. You know, sometimes we God has given us something that in our eyes looks small. But that is enough to bring down the giants we will face in our tomorrows. And somehow, one way or the other, people force us to discard them or to throw them away so that our confidence will be in what they provide for us. No, no, and no. Learn to be confident in the giftings and the talents and the grace that God has given to you. Learn to be confident in it. Don't allow any other person to intimidate you or people to force you to use something you have not tried before. This is what you know. Use it that way. Use it that way. I remember one time a, a, a young lad came and, uh, to me and he could play the flute very, very, very well. He was very skillful in the play of the flute. And then we were in a, in a place and then uh, somebody says, no, no, you should now learn the saxophone. Use the saxophone rather. And, uh, and he had not tried it. It was impossible for him to use the saxophone. But he was being forced to learn the saxophone within a period of time so that he would play on it. And I remember watching all the, 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 the drama that was going on. And I remember telling him that, Mike, you know what? Use your flute. Let's see what your flute can do. And I can tell you there were portions of the song when he began to play his flute so skillfully. It changed the tenor of the music and it changed the ambience and it changed everything. And the way he played the flute brought the presence of God into the room, tangible presence of God into the room. People were crying. People were, I mean, all sorts of things were happening. The way he played the flute. Use, be, use what you have. Be confident in the little that you have. Be confident in what you have. Don't begin to sit down and fantasize about what is out there that you have never used before, that you have never tried. Yes, it is good to dream and dream above the four corners. It is good to dream and dream about what you have. But guess what? Don't lose confidence in what you have. That's what they sought to do to David. His confidence in the stone and the sling brought him victory and changed his destiny. So, be confident in the small. See you later.